Got your books? Uh, check. Got your book bag? Check. Got your milk money? Check. Got the lunch I made for you? Uh, check. Is it peanut butter and bologna? Check. Okay, Julia. New school, new start. No harassing teachers. They have a hard enough job already. Understood? Check. No, Julia, I'm serious. Okay, Mom, don't worry. You're all enrolled. All you have to do is put on a big smile and go to classroom too. was the great military leader. Then, what was FDR's role in stopping World War II? So, no one has the answer, huh? I don't see any hands. Any real hands. New school. New start. Big smile. Don't harass. I don't see any hands. Over here. Jessica! It's Kristen. New school. New start. Big smile. Don't harass. <laughs> Role in stopping World War Two. Uh, uh, recess. Right. Let's go. Recess. <laughs> Oh, 
but so it's all we know. Well, it may not be much, but so it's all we know. Julia! Julia! Julia, that's your name, right? Yeah, hi. You're new. Our class? This is Kristen, and this is Heather. Hi. I was right. She is in our class. I know. I knew before you. Did not. How could you? I have eyes. Duh. Duh. Prove it. Who prove it? Dare me. Dare me what? Dare me. I don't dare. I don't dare. Baby. Baby. Stop. They're best friends. That was a good one. Yeah. Did you move into the Sanders old house? Yeah. We all live right by there. Hey, do you guys want to come over after school today? Look out! TV. Well, yes. Is it color? Is it hooked up yet? Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> Tell me something. Is our teacher always such a jerk? Um, always that way? He's different, all right. He ignores the girls. Well, what have you done about it? done about it. What can we do? Oh, there's plenty we can do about him. I'm home. Mom? Hi, I'm home. Well, how was it? How did everything go? Mom, remember when you said I should try and make new friends? Yes. Well... Okay, out of our way! Where's the show? Come on, come on! It's gonna be great! It's gonna be great! Hi, you guys! Hi, Mrs. Kramer! 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 Hi, girls! We're just in time. We can see the end of all oh, that Amos. And now it's back to all oh, that Amos. Bye, I'm home. Oh, hi, Amos. How was school? At recess today, Timothy wiped out and tore a shirt. Neat. <laughs> oh, Amos. By the way, don't forget to wipe your feet. the end of all my teens. Change it! Hello, Christy. Cheryl. What's shaking, Babylonia? You're not gonna believe this. This is Mondo Big. Like what, Christy? Gary said he's gonna take you. Where? 
at school in Mrs. Caffeine's class. Mrs. Caffeine, she's so hyper, I'm sure. Anyway, I heard Gant Adam. Get real, Nancy Adam. She's that girl with all the food or braces. That's so gross, I'm so sure. Oops, that's the door. Gotta go. Hey Cheryl, wanna go to the prom with me? You guys sure like TV. Over the last half hour, you've got KRTV raps. Coming up right now, we've got Tommy Tom and the Boxer Boy with Party Time. Oh, I love these guys. Because pigs ain't faking. Tommy can rap that dude can move. Tommy can get down and tie his shoes. Tommy be here, got something to say. Well, I eat bacon because can he be breaking food? <laughs> I hate rap music. TV like every other kid your age. Um, TV's okay sometimes. Uh, why are you sitting on the ground? Because I can't float like I used to. <laughs> Mommy was not Scruffy, is it? <laughs> Scruffy was my dog. My best friend. I had her for ten great years. She got pretty sick toward the end. I'm sorry about your dog, Mr. Oldtruck. Hank Oldtruck, your name is Scruffy. You've got the same color fur as my Scruffy. <laughs> Julia, Mr. Oldtruck. 
Well, Scruffy, I like talking to you. Why don't you step by for a pickle sometime? Mr. Oldtuck, I'll see you tomorrow. Swell, Scruffy. You've seen the original. Now, this summer, see Snow White and the Five Dwarfs. You'll meet Damage. Well, it doesn't look like a bicycle anymore. Troublesome. Okay, out of my way, Bob. Sinus. <sighs> Annoying. Does this bother you? Huh? 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 Dizzy. Hi, how are ya? Whoa. And Snow White. You guys are a mess. Now pick this up now. I'm going to take a nap. Coming this yeah, summer, yeah, 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 yeah. Snow White and the Five Dwarves. you watch TV when you get home from school. Bad. There are so many other things you can do. You can play baseball, read, play soccer, write a letter to Michael Jordan, play football, play army. And your girl, uh, Barbies or something. What? What? You're the new girl. What's your name? Julia. Yeah, right. Uh, Jessica. Uh, what do you want? Well, TV isn't really all that bad. If you watch too much, then... In front of you, you see my new instructional booklet. It's called TV Bad. But first, let's all take a look at some of the things that can happen to you if you watch TV. Jessica, get the lights, will ya? part of the television generation. Statistics show that Americans watch four to eight hours of television a day. TV, bad. During that time, they are sitting motionless. They are not getting proper exercise. Instead of reading a book or going for a brisk walk to see friends, they consume, consume, consume. Take Bobby here. Hey, Bobby, don't watch too much of that television. Don't you want to play ball with your friends? There's a game going on just down the street. Bobby just won't listen. Bobby doesn't realize it, but too much TV can lead to more serious problems down the road. Today, Bobby wishes he had not watched so much television. Just the of the lights, will ya? Your assignment starting today. No TV. No TV. No TV. No. TV. no. TV. No. TV. Who answer it just takes him a while. Oh, hi. 
You must be Mrs. Oldtruck? No, Effie Jones, Hank's girlfriend. Girlfriend? Mr. Oldtruck, it's me, Julia. Remember from yesterday? Julia? Uh, um, Scruffy? We came here today because Julia said, um, Scruffy said, that you might be able to help us. Swear. We want to know all about boys. You know, a boy's life. And how they think. And how they walk. How they think. Walk. 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 Stop it! Mr. Oldtruck, what is it like to be a boy? Well, follow me out back. Say, how far do you walk to school? A couple of blocks. Is that all? I used to walk five miles to school every day in a snowstorm. In the summer. Of course, at school, the boys got to be careful or else the schoolmaster will catch you dipping your gas pigtails and the ink was on your desks. And you'll end up in the corner with the dunce cap on your head. Um, how far did you have to walk to school? Eight miles. Um, Mr. Oldtruck, how about boy games? Marbles, baseball, except you don't use your bat. We use a stick and a big rock. Did you ever hit a rock with a stick? There, where you noggin? Here, I'll show you how. Mr. Oldtruck, wait. The boys at our school play a game called kickball. Can you show us how a boy might kick? Here's how you girls kick. Eww. Now, here's how a real boy kicks. Look at her fly! Boys have a different type of walk than you girls. Here's you girls. Horse feathers. If you want to be the bee's knees at school, boys walk like this. Jessie, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Girls, this is just the start of better things to come. What are you doing? 
Nothing. Watching TV? Can't. I know. Can't. I know. Can't. I know. Can't. I know. Look, Heather, I just don't feel like playing tonight. Well, what are we supposed to do? Barbies. Our teacher said to play Barbies. He said so. And beauty shop. No, I don't feel like playing Barbies. And I don't want to play beauty shop. You know what? I'm going to read. Yeah, I like reading. raising your hands in class, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. He ignores all the girls, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. He hasn't even bothered to learn our names. Do you know why? No. no. Why? No. why? No. Because we're not boys. To him, we're all named Jessica. Yeah. Jessica. All right. Does everyone remember what we taught you? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Jessica, schoolmaster, oh, horse feathers. I can't pronounce this dad blamed word. Huh? I tried using my noggin, but it just ain't there. Ain't? Schoolmaster? Schoolmaster? Um, well, when you were a boy, how far did you have to walk to school? Well, Jessica, today you kids have it so easy. When I was in high school, I had to walk all the way home from school. Three times. One block. In bright sunshine. I had to squint. The wind blowing my beetle hair cutting my eyes. I kept crossing the streets without knowing it. The car horns, the accidents. Schoolmaster. Ugh. 
What, Jessica? Um, well, I just want to tell you you're real jazzy. Just keep her going. Keep her going. Just keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her going. Just keep her going. You're the bee's knees. Barbie's play ass is over. Sit. This is Mr. Hart. How may I help you? Yeah, hey, Mr. Hart. This is Deneen from Deneen's TV Repair. I got some bad news for you. About my TV? We're really baked up. Do you mean I've got some pretty important friends, you know? I don't think I can get out to fix your TV. I know the mayor, you know. Look, it's going to take me at least three days. I've seen a picture of the present, you know. Three days. Correction. Three days. No TV for three days. So, I hope everyone did something positive last night instead of watching TV. I know I did. Ryan, what did you do? Sports. Adam, boy. Adam, how about you? Wrestled with my dog. Yes, that's great. See what you're learning? Yeah, well, the dog won. Anybody else? Tonight's assignment. Everyone should. Play army. And then, play trucks. We tried, didn't we? Okay, so it didn't work so well. Yeah. He's more mad at us now than ever. Forget it. Let's watch TV. You guys like that. Oh, that Amos. Can't. Nice try, Scruffy. Wait, Operation Boy's Life isn't over yet. We're gonna beat him at his own game. Outsmart him. Let's go. Here. Look, we tried acting like boys today, but it didn't work, right? Well, this time we're going to go all the way. Almost. Your heart seems to be fine, Laura. Awful. Let's check your reflexes and we'll be all set. Awful. So, do you do a lot of activities? Of course, I want my dress to wrong. Really? What's your dog's name? It's really Fluffy. Fluffy? That's a nice name. What was your childhood like? Hey, I'm only 11. I'm still having it. Is this a multiple choice? Do you like yourself? Yeah, sure. Do you? Oh, I love myself. Yes. No, wait. How do you think you felt when you were born? I was so much 
younger then. I don't know. I was busy. Do I have to answer in full sentences? Girls, I am Dr. Bernard. You can call me Dr. Your tests seem to have turned out perfectly normal. So, what is it that you need? We want to be like boys. Well, not real boys, but see, well, see I think there's more than boys. Girls, sit back and I will tell you a little about boys, their personalities, and what you should do. Let's start with about their ideas about what is fun. Fun for a boy is very different from what is fun for a girl. We've got a lot of calling to do before tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, phase two, Operation Boys Life. Begin. Yesterday, we came up with a couple of things people did because they didn't watch TV. Last night, your assignment was to play army and play trucks. Did anyone learn anything from their army experience? Wow! Oh, oh. Christopher! I learned at war that I was the final solution in a situation where two sides can sit down and effectively work out a compromise. Wow! Anybody else? Uh, uh, Henry! War is senseless destruction, not to mention bad for our environment. Senseless destruction? Yeah, well, okay. Anybody else? Uh, Larry? War is stupid. Just sit down and talk. Communicate. Duh. <sighs> Great. This is working. Adam. War is bad. Yeah. Fantastic. Recess. You're going to love this. All the girls that wear high heels work downtown at Marshall Field. How much money do they get? One, two. Again. All the girls that wear high heels work downtown at Marshall Field. Again. 
really, Sergeant Pate. This class is really shaping up. Yeah, the other day, during dare lessons, some of your girls were really on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean now. The class is all boys. It's the dream class. Wait a minute. No, you don't. You have 34 kids in your class, 17 boys and 17 girls. Huh? huh? Again. You know, jumping rope is great conditioning for athletes. Hey Joe, how's this? having the best school day in history of education today, I thought we might challenge the other fifth grade to a spelling bee. We'll mop the floor with them. We've got all boys. Everyone knows girls can't spell. Boys aren't better spellers than girls. They're the same spellers as girls. Huh? Y yeah, I guess so. Well, anyway, the way I figure it... Hey, Terrence, no hats on inside. Terrence! You're not one of those hippies, are you? Something's not right here. Wait a minute. Boys, no hats on in school. Now let's not ruin a great day. Everybody, hats off. Now.
girls do all that stuff. Wait a minute. What did we learn here? I hope you like to play army, because this is war. Run? Run. We agree? Yes. Yes. Cool. Go! Nothing job? Don't delay. Visit the Marble School of Broadcasting today. Within weeks, you'll have that great professional Marvel sound. Hi, I'm Katie Rogers, here with the news. How's that? That great Marvel style. Order today, only $19.95. Batteries not included. Is that a good take, boys? You'll amaze your friends. What do you want to do? I don't care. Hello, fellows. Anyone for a grand game of chess? You'll learn how to have fun on camera, the Marvel way. Good job on that story, Bill. Good job on that hairstyle, Ron. <gasps> yes, take it from me. The Marvel School of Broadcasting can do for you what it did for me. Get it. Boys, leave those girls alone. Yeah, well, look, look what's happened. Boys are jumping rope. Girls and boys are playing together. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. This is not a boy's life. Ugh. Well, It should be. Wow. It worked. We were lucky. You did it! We were lucky. We were lucky! That's it! <laughs> T-
So it's all we know Yeah! <laughs> 